snap peas or you can use snow peas, whichever edible pod pea you happen to have that you're growing will work in this recipe just fine. And in fact, if you don't have any of those, asparagus will work in this recipe too. I'm going to add about two teaspoons of vegetable oil to our wok in this case. You could use a skillet too. And then also, uh, I'm just going to let that heat up just for a moment. And then I'm going to add the vegetables. What we have here is about two cups of snap peas, a half a cup of chopped onion, half a cup of sliced celery. And make sure you slice this really thin because everything else takes just a moment to cook and you don't want to have that uh, hanging around taking much longer. And then about a cup of fairly thinly sliced mushrooms. Stir fry that for about two minutes. Again, this is something that cooks very quickly. The thing that's going to take you the longest time if you're using the snap peas is actually taking the strings off them. The pod is edible, but if you look at the snap peas, you, you'll realize that when you harvest them, the, the pea inside is going to be about the size of, of an English pea. Uh, they'll be fairly large, fairly mature in most of them, although you'll find some where that's not the case. They'll be very, very flat. Uh, what you need to do, however, you notice they have a little cap on one end. You need to pull that off and go down one side, then pull the other end off and go up the other side. If they're very young and very fresh, you don't need to do that. But anything that's been around in your, in your kitchen for a little, uh, maybe a couple of days after harvest, or anything that you harvested a little bit past the prime, uh, you need to remove those strings. Otherwise, the people who eat your dish are going to end up having to uh, do all of that um, at the table. While that's going ahead and cooking, we're going to go ahead and take two cups of cooked brown rice. Now, brown rice would be the best choice for this because it's going to have more nutrition. But it, the, the bad side of this, or the downside, is it's going to take substantially longer to cook unless you use the instant varieties or the quick cooking varieties. Regular brown rice is probably going to take you about 45 minutes to cook, but you can make up more than you need. You can cook the whole bag and store it in the refrigerator uh, for other uses. In fact, because we're using this as a stir fry, you really do need to cook it at least a day ahead because the rice, when you do stir fry, in order to keep it uh, more uh, separated, it needs to have a chance to, to chill down and actually be cold when you add it to the stir fry. So I cooked up, you start with a cup of brown rice and you're going to end up with two cups. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of light soy sauce. I'm just going to go ahead and add that in there. And then we'll stir that in. And this again, what we're aiming for here is pretty much just heating the rice up. I'm going to stir everything together. It shouldn't take any longer than two minutes to get this all ready to go. Once you have everything heated through, and this can easily be done in an electric skillet if you don't have a wok, you're ready to serve. The vegetables will still have some crispness to them, but everything's going to be hot. If you wanted to make this a main dish, you could add a little bit of beef that you stir fried before you added the vegetables to it, or a little bit of chicken. This is something everybody's going to like. If they like oriental food at all, you're going to find that kids really take a, a hanking, hankering to this because they are really, really fond of stir fry. It's something that a lot of us don't associate with young kids, but once they're exposed to it, they really find it delightful. For Oklahoma Gardening, this is Barbara Brown.